Hey, and today we're going to be looking at Circuit Wizard 2 and the use of that. Now, I've got Circuit Wizard 2 in the middle of my desktop there. So I'm going to quickly double click on that. And we've got our licensing agreement come up first, followed by the program. Now, this is the home screen that you should be seeing. I'm going to upload, uh, I'm going to enlarge it so you can see the whole thing. Um, we've got File, Edit, View, Project, Window, and Help, just like most programs. And down the bottom, we've got a range of different toolbars. Uh, sorry, tools on that toolbar so that you know what you can use and they're all quick ones that you're going to use the most so that's why they're there um, but the main thing we're going to be looking at is project um, it's got our simulation stuff here so you can run, pause and stop your simulations it's also got different things that happen in the simulation so um, explosions, so that's when a, a component might explode um, faults, so that's when you're going to see a fault in your program um, so those are the two main ones. There's also other ones like slow motion and bounce, but you probably won't ever use those. Power supply, so instead of putting in a battery power supply, you might want to put in a just different power supply, kind of like we have in the electronics room. Um, circuit symbols, so these are all the different gallery of things that you can put into it. So if I click on those, I can then put that um, component in there. Um, test equipment. So if something on your circuit's not working properly, you can actually connect an ammeter, a voltmeter, a test point. Um, you can choose analog or digital multimeter, a watt meter. So you've got all those different things to actually be able to test your circuit. Um, the way I like to do it though, especially if I'm trying to teach you guys how to um, do this, I'll come over to the right hand side menu here and go to gallery. That way if you have a look, you can see a bit better all your components so you guys will know what a 9 volt battery looks like connected to a battery snap and so there it is right there um, so if I if I put that in first because a battery is always a good place to start and we, we're going to make a very simple um, uh, little torch so I've, I've got my 9 volt battery there and if I want to rotate that I've got these two rotation tools so you want your circuit to look neat okay because you're eventually going to put it onto a PCB board aren't you so if you if you click on that it helps rotate it but I'm happy with that there so after my power supply I'm probably going to move to a switch um, I'm going to do a basic switch here okay um, but that top switch here that's a push to make switch so that's one where you push and you've got to hold it down um, or obviously you can keep pressing it to make it flash um, so my switch is in a nice spot there um, I'll go in my resistor next where are we there we go Go to resistor next. Now we'll place that just there. And you kind of see what I'm doing. I'm arranging it in a nice kind of circuit motion, uh, circuit pattern, if you if I can say that. So you can obviously see it going from the battery to the switch to the resistor, and then finally we're going to end with our LED. So if we go down to light emitting diodes, LED. Remembering that a normal diode doesn't have the arrows coming off it so that's how we know that it's light emitting so we've got us we've got our circuit there it's in like all set up um, the only thing we're missing at the moment is the connections between the different components so if I just click on that also so I know if you hover over a component it'll actually give you the um, the values of it so there's your battery circuit symbol um, it's telling you that you're connected to the positive lead okay so if I click on that and then click on that one. See, I've got my connection there. So all I've got to do is go all the way around, connecting up my circuit. Okay, done. So there's a nice, neat little circuit. Makes a nice square. Now, if I want to make the circuit run, all I need to do, I can either go to here and press play or go to project and press run. So for the sake of this, I'm going to go to just press run here. Okay, and now why has nothing happened? So, as you can see, the switch is open, and I can actually physically, I've got to click on that to close it. And so that's closed the circuit now, and so the LED is lit up, and I can open it again, close it, open it. So, if I want this project to say, um, show me the faults and things, so I'm going to go over to simulation, and I have my explosions, and I want to have my, come on, faults. So then if I then change this resistor, which I just need to double click on to do, and change it from 1K ohms to 1 ohm, and I'm running it, boom, there goes my LED. So you know that there's a fault in your circuit by just pressing on that. 
So if I stop that, it'll come back again. Um, something I can also do, if I double click on the LED, I can change the color of it. Just another nice thing. Okay, now I'll change my resistor back because I don't want it to explode. And then when I play this, I get a blue LED. Okay, thank you for watching.